Water is constantly on the minds of people living in the western part of the U.S. because there just hasn't been much of it for several years. This is clearly the worst drought in California history. But the American West is not the only place thirsty for water. More than half of the world's population lives in water stress areas, and according to the United Nations, that number will increase to two-thirds by 2025 less than 10 years from now. These images taken by photographers for National Geographic magazine illustrate the need for water around the world. The Annenberg Foundation organized this exhibition. The idea that some people can devote their whole life, their whole day, to, to trekking miles to try and find fresh water is something that's inconceivable for us. The amount of water on Earth has not changed for billions of years. But the ratio of fresh to salt water has, says Jerry Schubel, with the Aquarium of the Pacific. There are also other factors that are creating a fresh water shortage. In much of the world, shortage of fresh water is a looming crisis that will only be exacerbated by climate change and a growing population. Schubel says most of the world's population live in countries that share bodies of water, but many of those countries don't have agreements on how to share that water. And many of these regions are in politically areas of political unrest. North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Southwest, Central, and South, South Asia. The aggregate population in these areas is predicted to triple by the end of this century. So water shortages could well become flashpoints for regional and international conflicts. Scientists say practicing conservation is the first step to solving the water crisis. Desalinating seawater is also an option, but that comes at a price, says Kevin Wadier, who managed the Long Beach Water Department for 14 years. It would cost at least twice or three times as much to, to desalinate seawater as it would cost to buy imported water. You know, you will increase your, your global carbon footprint when you go to seawater desal. Schubel says the problem of global water shortage can be solved only if countries work together. We could supply everyone on this planet with safe drinking water and enough water to grow their food. But it will take money, technology, political will, and cooperation. And learning how to share requires collaborative decision making at intergovernmental levels. He says collaborating is critical because the water crisis will only get worse. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Long Beach.